Why is Ayn Rand's great novel Atlas Shrugged, a bestseller today, more than half a century after it was written? It's because our real world today is just like the fictional future that Rand foresaw in Atlas Shrugged. It's a time of crisis and decay, but it's also a world of innovation and achievement. It's a world of heroes and villains, driven by very different philosophies. We wrote I Am John Galt to tell their stories. We look at the heroic innovators who are building our world and show that they're doing it just like the heroes of Ayn Rand's novels. They're using her philosophy of capitalism, reason, objective reality, and self-interest. Who is John Galt? Meet John Allison, the mild-mannered Southerner who created one of America's greatest banking empires. He did it with Ayn Rand's philosophy by getting every one of his tens of thousands of employees to read Atlas Shrugged and live by its code. In the great financial crisis of 2008, his bank was about the only one that didn't need a government bailout. But the government forced Allison to take TARP money anyway. After that, Allison walked away, just like John Galt did. There's so many other Rand heroes in our midst. There's Bill Gates, the genius who built the world's greatest company and the world's greatest personal fortune, only to have his own government call him a criminal for succeeding too much. Isn't he just like Hank Reardon from Atlas Shrugged? And how about Steve Jobs, the brilliant entrepreneur who reinvented computers, movies, music, telephones, just because he thought it was so cool? He's got the same attitude toward life as Howard Rourke from Rand's other great novel, The Fountainhead. Build it, and I don't care if they come. You'll meet some real-life Rand villains in our book, too, the parasites who are trying to destroy the world. Remember Wesley Mooch from Atlas Shrugged, the corrupt bureaucrat who destroyed the economy? That's Congressman Barney Frank, who spent years subsidizing Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac in the name of altruism. When Fannie and Freddie nearly wrecked the U.S. housing market, what did Frank do? Just like Mooch, he demanded wider powers. And you'll meet Paul Krugman, the rabid partisan pundit who spreads socialism from the pages of the New York Times and thinks nothing of using the power of the press to destroy his political enemies. He's Ellsworth Toohey, the scheming, dwarfish newspaper columnist straight from the pages of the Fountainhead. These are some of the heroes and villains who move our world. So who is John Galt? I am. You can be too. Read our book and find out how.